What's going on dudes? Tony here from Paradise Garage and Learn Auto Body and Paint.com. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do auto body Q&A every week, help you out, get to the next level. And um, also click the link over here. You probably, maybe it's on this side. The card on YouTube on the top right of the video, you can grab a free training at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Uh, you can learn everything about auto body. Been doing this for 25 years. There's the site you want to go to, learnautobodyandpaint.com. Uh, made that sticker over 10 years ago. Um, we also have some sponsors, so check it out. Um, we completed the project. Um, well, we completed the initial stage of the project. Painted a single stage white um, by AIC. I haven't painted single stage in a while. Look how, uh, look at the overspray on my on my countertop here. You can see that a lot of overspray on the floor, kind of like a whitish and overspray. I mean, single stage is the worst type of paint because you get a lot of overspray. You know, I, I honestly don't care. I didn't cover up any of my toolboxes and stuff, but if you guys want to do that, you can, um, you know, and, and do what you want to do uh, when it comes to covering the interior of your garage. Basically, clear coat's not that bad. Um, but if you guys can hear me quickly, can you just type in the chat, be like, yo, Tony, I hear you. And then we're going to talk about the project, how it came out, what's next. Um, again, this is going to be a two-tone paint job. So we didn't do some of the the area in here, the teal. That's actually going to be all black. Uh, we still have it all wrapped up. <clears throat> uh, looking really good. Um, guys, can you uh, quickly type in the chat? Let me know if you're if you guys can hear me and see me, we were going live yesterday. I was kind of doing some spraying, some sealer and whatnot. And some of you guys uh, said the audio was really bad. So I'm not sure how the audio is now. If you guys can let me know. What's up, Black Rain? I think I remember you. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, anyway, I think the job came out fantastic for spraying in my garage like this. Take a look. <laughs> Literally, you know... <laughs> home garage uh, we have our we have our intake coming in over there I had fresh air coming in and then exhaust going out there um, as far as the the paint texture not bad a little orange peely but I mean I tried to flow it on as best as I could um, you can see you know not bad not bad let's see if we can get a better you know pretty damn good for single stage tell you that um, very nice gloss, you know, not bad at all for single stage and, you know, no runs. I am known for lay, being able to lay on paint really wet and not running it. Um, so the body came out really, really good. Um, if we look on the bottom, looks like I didn't paint enough, right? But that's going to be black. So I, I didn't bother going all the way down. Actually, it was kind of tight. We used the whole gallon. Um, I had about a few ounces, maybe like four or five ounces of paint. Uh, four or five ounces of paint left over. I'm about to spray my backyard. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You know, actually, I wanted to paint this thing under a tent outside in the backyard. I'm kind of glad I didn't because it was so windy and it was raining every... 30 minutes and you know just started so i was like let me just squeeze it in here my main issue was head clearance um because of the garage door opener you know i couldn't i had to kind of move it over and tilt it to the side like this so i could so i can get to it you know but the van came, the white came out really nice. So if you look at the wheel well here, this lip, the line, the crease, all of that. And the bumpers are going to be gloss black. So that's going to be next. I'm going to let it sit and dry for maybe two, two more days. Okay. So today's, it's literally like 15 hours after the paint job, you know, not even. Okay. Um, Gonna give it, you know, two two to three days of curing time before I start fine line taping and masking out for the two tone. Um, if you can see up in here, that's gonna be all black. Um, we're gonna leave the drip rail white. 
but right under it, right from right here under it, is gonna be black. So that's all gonna be blacked out. And then we are going to, this is gonna be black. This is gonna be black. So just imagine this is gonna be black and then we're gonna go straight, straight here, right? All the way. So it's gonna be like a black wraparound style, like window, like all black all the way around. Um, I did have a, a little water issue, like, cause we were, you know, nonstop painting. I had a little bit of water come out, some condensation come out of my hose at the gun. And that's common if you're doing a lot of painting and, you know, home garage setup. So that's why I always say this is super important, this filter, cause you don't want the water to go into your gun and come out. What happened with me was this connection was a little loose here. Okay, because this is an old chuck here and a little bit of air was leaking out and some condensation dripped out, okay, while I was painting the hood. And I was like, oh crap. So um, I tried to, I mean, you know, what I did was I immediately put my gun down and I got a paper towel and I just started dabbing um, where the water dripped. And you could kind of see, you know, like right, can you see it? Like right there? That little thing right there um, a few spots maybe right in here okay but you know it could be buffed out it could be sanded and buffed out but I'm really not worried about it too much I mean the, the front I mean it looks super glossy looks good and I um, just wanted to show you guys the quick results of that <clears throat> of the white um, we're gonna do the black next but what I'm gonna do now is do the Raptor liner on the front grill. So we're gonna do Raptor liner on the front grill. We're gonna Raptor line underneath the wheel wells, get all that nice and black, okay? Cause it looks like we, and we've got overspray on it now, right? Um, we are going to Raptor line all underneath, of course, to make it, to tighten it up, you know, make it look black and tighten it up. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna do the black two-tone in a couple days. There are a couple of dents here I didn't take out. Right there, but who cares? I don't care. It's a work van. Overall, it came out gorgeous. Yeah, that's another one. You know, when the sweat comes out by your chin or you're, you're blowing out, you're sweating and it goes on a hood. That happened to me a good many times. It happens, you know, it happens. Um, but yeah, overall, this thing came out super glossy. I'm happy with it for a single stage paint job. We laid it on, you know, as thick as possible. No runs. Um, looks fucking, looks, looks pretty damn good in my opinion. You know, um, I used to paint single stage a lot when I first started painting. You know, nasty shit. Everything gets sticky. You know, your guns get destroyed. That's why it's super important to clean them after you use them. I, I cleaned this thing as soon as I used it. It was all sticky and... You know, use the um, Atom X27 spray gun. Yeah, a lot of people say that. You know, when I shoot single stage, it looks like base coat, clear coat. I mean, not bad. Not bad for a single stage. So, um, yeah, we're going to connect it right here. It's going to be black. This whole top is going to be black. Okay, so it's gonna look good, guys. This is like partial, you know? It's gonna look really good once uh, the two-tone is in and um, it's it's put together and cleaned up and yada yada, you know? When you see a project like this, it's it looks good, but it ain't complete. When it's complete, it's gonna look like a new van. Like literally, it's gonna look like a new van, um, especially when the front grill is on and all that. So yeah, guys, just wanted to give you a quick heads up update. Tony here from Paradise Garage and LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Any questions, guys, type in the chat. Let me know. I'll hang out for a few minutes. If not, <clears throat> I am going to prep my grill. Where is it? Right here. And um, we're going to put some new Raptor liner um, coating on that, as well as the wheel wells. Also, the uh, exhaust pipe, right? We're going to get all these things black so it looks good. Because you don't want to leave it like that, right? It looks like crap. So you could either... You know, you could use something called tight seal, which is good um, aerosol. 
it's a good aerosol underline undercoating this is pretty good stuff so you could use this or i am going to go with a little bit more heavy duty and use the raptor liner um especially for under the wheel wells and the grill you know i want that to last and it has a little bit of gloss to it you know that dries nice this is more of a flatter color but it's good it's good stuff paintable so you can spray this for a texture and paint on top of it i've done that um, i get these on ebay um i forget how much but i buy them by the case on ebay <clears throat> anyway i use this as my mixing bucket my wife was out i was like hey get me a bucket from home depot and some some extra paper because i was out on a lot of stuff <clears throat> so here's our black we already did some of our trim pieces black uh, all these pieces are already painted black ready to go back on the car <clears throat> so yeah just tuning in guys hope you're doing well um any questions if not i'm gonna head out wrap up this van and uh, we'll be on the road shortly Hey, no, no Q and A today. It's fine. Um, we do the Q and A's every Monday, uh, 7 p.m. Hey, a little bit of texture on the paint. You know, not bad though. Not bad. Uh, less texture here. Here, I actually didn't sand it that good. I could have went down with um, uh, sand it a little bit better. But it is what it is. It looks better down here. You know, and you could buff, guys, if you want. You could buff single stage if you want to. You know, you're going to sand it. It's going to get all white and milky. But uh, I really loaded it on the front end of this car. Came out really good. All right, guys. Just a quick update. I'll talk to you later. Have a good Thursday. Sup, Zeus? Hey, boy. Hey, boy. He'll be five months in a week. He was smaller than Nala, not Nala, Lani, uh, just a couple months ago. <laughs> He's always busting her chops, but when it comes down to it, when he pushes her to the edge enough, she'll, she'll get him. <laughs> she'll, she'll flip around, jump up and bite his lip and he'll, he'll be wimping. There's the one wheel. Hey, hey boy, easy boy, easy. Your teeth coming in, your new teeth coming in. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Ouch, ouch, easy boy, easy, easy. Easy boy. All right guys, I'll see you later. Have a great one.